It feels more like it might be a general release or a wider release than just in store. So keep an eye out for these guys because they might be coming and dunks are absolutely boiling hot this year, so this could be a big shoe. Now, a tiny little detail, which is kind of interesting, is if you travel towards the front, both of the shoes in this pack had a tiny little swoosh on the front there, but I can handle a bit of hairy suede. It's just on the right side of suede and not on the wrong side of hairy, if you know what I'm saying. So Happy days at the Tokyo Butter 23 Sneaker Channel because we're getting content from all over the place, stuff that you would never be able to see, but we get to see it at our channel here because we have the most generous viewers in the world. We already had uh, Belgium sending us a care package of three brand new shoes, uh, just, just a half size bigger than what I wear, but I can work that out. And it's just a graciously appreciated offer to send shoes uh, to me out of the blue. Uh, but on top of that, we've also got Seabass underscore photos coming at us also from Europe and sending us videos of samples, which are the rarest samples in the world. We're not just talking like 50 or 100 samples, like one of one samples. Uh, and yesterday there was a video um, I made with two uh, videos from Seabass smashed into one uh, and you had these amazing sample sneakers. And then tomorrow it'll be the same again. Amazing sample sneakers, one of ones, nowhere else can you see that so we appreciate all that content and then on top of that we get to talk about amazing shoes like this now this is the second of two we already talked about what they're calling the road sign uh, but since I made that video I think they started giving it an actual colorway name like turquoise blue or something like that mint green uh, but I'm gonna stick with that road sign uh, moniker because I think it's a better name for that shoe and what it is is it's a collaboration with a Korean fashion a house a brand a skateboard shop there's actually ten branches of these shops in in Korea in two cities, the northern capital of Seoul and the southern major city of Busan. Uh, and, uh, and that's actually plays a, plays a big part in the story of the first shoe. Um, and that shoe itself, the earlier shoe drops on September the 18th, but these guys here, they drop on September the 25th one week later and that's why I separated them out and instead of doing them as a pack did them a bit and bit like this so we've got the great content from Seabass underscore photos we've got amazing stuff coming at us from Belgium with those shoes sent in the post and then we've got the regular content where we get to talk about the upcoming releases of some of the most amazing shoes of the season so all in all it's a good time for me to have a YouTube channel and I hope you guys appreciate that content so without further ado let's get into today's shoe which is the upcoming release of the Nike Dunk Low Casina 80s bus. This is the Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel. Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel. Des Mainichi. Absuru no de. Mainichi means you can design every single day from Tokyo, Japan. I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today it's the second of two. Uh, the Like I said, the original, uh, the original is a bit much, but the, the earlier drop was those uh, road sign uh, dunk lows. And then today we're talking about these 80s bus dunk lows, which is all to do with, um, you know, this, this brand growing up in, in Korea, a uh, small skate show shop brand skateboard shop brand skate brand uh, that, that grew up and got bigger and bigger and bigger but when back in the day uh, they used to travel around by bus and it was uh, the bus routes and they sort of riding on the city buses that inspired this shoe and to be honest of the two shoes in the pack I actually prefer this one there was a little bit about the heels in the earlier pack that was a bit jarring the color didn't quite match the rest of the shoe it did have a cool feature in that it had the two major cities Seoul and Busan printed on the back and that's gone off of this shoe but this shoe's branding on the back, even though it's a standard dunk low brand thing, it actually matches the rest of the colorway, and I prefer that. So even though the design element of the earlier heel was cooler, the uh, colorway and the way it fits the narrative of the shoe in this one is actually cooler in my mind. And they have gone with that standard capitalized N-I-K-E on the back. Sometimes that gets shrunk down, uh, but because of that, you can see just a hint of where the E doesn't quite fit on the branding panel, and I kind of like that. Uh, so uh, so that fits in with the narrative of the shoe. shoes. are going back out and big and having a look at that shoe we're back to an almost standard tri-color as far as this dunk is concerned um, realistically speaking the, the other shoe in the pack was more of a, a two, two color and uh, just that sort of they were saying jade which is more of a Chinese color than a Korean color but uh, they were saying jade and white whereas this one here you've definitely got those three colors and that major play on the third color comes in on the swoosh now I'm gonna zoom in on that and what you'll be able to see all around it in the blue as well is that hairy suede which is a signature feature of the shoe. Now I tend not to like shoes with too much sort of mm, consistency, texture to them. I don't like hairy shoes. I don't think it's a, a thing that I really 
I'm drawn towards, but I can handle a bit of hairy suede. It's just on the right side of suede and not on the wrong side of hairy, if you know what I'm saying. So, and especially in a color like this, it's a bit deeper than those earlier ones. And so the hairiness is kind of absorbed a bit. So for me, very, very cool. It's a really nice start to look at this shoe. Now, a tiny little detail, which is kind of interesting, is if you travel towards the front, both of the shoes in this pack had a tiny little swoosh on the front there. Now we're talking about Dunk Lows, not SB Dunk Lows and not SB Dunk Low Pro and not too far away from that little swoosh is the quarter line and that's a signature of SB Dunks and Dunk Lows uh, and because of the way the structure of that quarter line is we know it's earlier whereas the SB Dunk Low Pros have a more to be honest Jordan 1-esque quarter line that wraps up onto the lacing system whereas you can see here that it stops short of the lacing system so it's a Dunk Low or an SB Dunk Low in the case of these it's a Dunk Low uh, but that's not what we're interested in we're interested in that little swoosh towards the front there uh, because on the other pair that swoosh was in the same I think it was the white as the rest of the shoe um, and uh, whereas on these guys here it's a little bit of red so it's almost like a fourth color which is kind of unique and interesting and I really like it I think it's a tiny little splashy color but it actually works on this shoe uh, and then not too far away from that is the outsole which is an unusual place to go at this point in the video I usually save this for later but it's very black uh, there are more details to look at especially on the tongues and we'll get to that in a minute but I want to stay with that outsole because it's so close to the front end of the shoe that we were already looking at uh, and it's basically black and the reason that's interesting is because it's not transparent uh, again the other shoe in this pack was transparent now I think what all this is leading to is that the original one the the one week earlier the September the 18th um, road sign pair are actually going to be a very limited release I'm pretty sure they're only dropping in stores whereas these guys here they have much more of a general release feel about them dropping a week later on September the 25th and things like the solid black outsole to me the back where the heel is in the standard heel branding it feels more like it might be a general release or a wider release and just in store so keep an eye out for these guys because they might be coming and dunks are absolutely boiling hot this year so this could be a big shoe uh, so back up uh, anyway from that outsole and, and solid black and we get up onto the tongues that i was mentioning this is the one sort of carryover from the uh the road sign ones because it's the same tongue on these guys in korean uh, and in that video when i was talking about the road size ones the road sign ones i was saying that you know i'm going to hold on a little bit and let you guys guess what you think that says on there uh, because i would say most people would assume it says nike or something to do with the dunk line but actually it's to do with the brand that's tying it up with them today so it actually says in Korean Casina which is the name of the Korean brand that we're focused in on but it's very very cool it's a nice detail at the top of the shoes uh, and then the second detail which is of importance as far as the sort of story of the shoe goes is coming down from that and having a look at the hang tag on the side which is a steering wheel from one of those city buses uh, so all in all looking back let's step back and have a look at this shoe it's a very cool shoe I think like I said it's the nicer one of the two in this pack even though it's probably more likely to be the more widely available of the two uh, but I think it's a pretty cool shoe and it really fits in well with the year of the dunks because 2020 has been a monster year for dunks of all shapes and sizes and this one just keeps it coming because it's a very fine shoe and a very cool colorway and a very cool pack to be honest so even though this is my preference either one of these shoes would uh, grace any sneaker collection in the world uh, okay it's time for me to sign off i'm going to remind you guys about yesterday's video which was from cbass underscore photos and tomorrow's video which will also be from cbass underscore photos both of those videos have two sample videos embedded in them of the rarest samples in the world so you definitely want to check out either one of those videos um because that's a it's a great thing to support when somebody supports you so please check out those videos and share them far and wide because they are very very cool and very very rare for now though time for me to sign off and thank you guys for checking out the content as i do every single day 600 plus days i mean it must be about 650 consecutive days non-stop and i am not slowing down so we'll keep the content coming and that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow